Did you have anything to say about the indictments earlier this week outside of your statement that was posted on Twitter? Well, I said a lot. I mean, I'm, I'm glad you bring it up. I think it's it's a very flimsy, unsubstantiated case. And I'm unique in my role in that I don't take any contributions from people who, who do business with Harris County. And that's not just unique here in Harris County, but it's unique nationally. Local officials all over the country, that's how they fund their campaign. They take millions of dollars from the contractors that they give contracts to. I don't do that. So it makes no sense that I would leave on the table enormous amounts of money and to do such a, a completely silly thing as is being alleged. There's just no logic to it. Uh, and obviously my staff wouldn't do that either. My ethics are my strongest point. It's clear that's what people are trying to go after. But you know, the Houston Chronicle, the Texas Monthly, various outlets have reported that the facts just don't add up as they're being presented. It's the middle of an election year. And I think it's very clear that the motivations around this are, are just to harm me politically. And it's very sad to see the criminal justice system used that way. But what do you, say, you know, who say why leave the staffers on if they are facing felony criminal charges, if they have been indicted by a grand jury? What do you say to those critics? I have no reason to believe, and, and neither does the public. We have plenty of information as to the facts that has already been widely reported that at best, at best, this is going forward with a, a fundamental misunderstanding of the facts, and at worst, it is the weaponization of a criminal justice system for political purposes. So I'm not going to play into that. My staffers are hardworking people. They work day and night for the people of Harris County, and we've got work to do. Like this catalytic converter issue, early childhood education, homelessness, huge wins. We work literally day, night, weekends, all the time for this community, and we're going to keep doing that. I'm not going to cave to political posturing, and I think people see through that. It just makes absolutely no sense that I or myself would have any motivation to do this. I don't accept money from contractors. I'm the only person in this county that does that, and, and, and nationwide, I'm the only local elected official. I know Are that you worried that. about being indicted? No, I mean, look, I don't know how far this is going to go. And it's very easy if you present one sided facts to a grand jury. Everybody knows a grand jury and that a ham sandwich, if that's all they see, right? And what's been presented out, what the Chronicle, the monthly, other news outlets have reported is that those facts are spun in a certain way, right? So I don't know if that's where they were shown and what kind of spin would be put on to try to harm me some more. So, you know, I'm not scared. I'm not losing any sleep over this. Whatever happens, I'm ready for. I'm, I'm tough, I'm battle tested. This is just politics and, um, you know, we'll face it, we'll keep working. But I think it's pretty clear the community sees through this and I got work to do.